Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joffrey Noodle Legs here today. Got a little unboxing today. Um, received this package from Jeremy from Jeremy's Wild World. Thanks for that, mate. Um, yeah, just did a little uh, a little buy from him. Something a bit different from my collection today. Um, not had these before. Uh, it's a true spider. Um, so I've got this in here from him today. So we won't waste any time. We'll just get this open, shall we? Uh, I'd like to thank everybody uh, for all their sort of uh, good wishes like lately because I've been a bit, I've been very unwell at the moment. So, um, but I'm, as I'm unwell, I'm still trying my best to put some videos out for you guys just to keep my channel alive and keep you all hopefully interested in what I'm doing. Uh, so, yeah, I received this today, this morning from Jeremy, from Jeremy's Wild World. If you've not checked his channel out, I highly recommend you do that. Excuse me, guys, just popping over here just to get a, just a box, just because I want to put these uh, packing peanuts into here rather than get them all over the floor. Um, so yeah, received this today. Yeah, Jeremy's Wild World, go and check his channel out. If you've never checked it out, lovely guy. I communicated with him just over a week or so ago uh, about getting this species, and he uh, he sent them on to me here. So let me just get those out there. Just check the box that there's no uh, nothing's escaped because it's always good to check, guys. Doesn't look like there's anything in there that's escaped. That's great. So I'll move these out of the way. Yeah, so I've ordered a couple of little slings from him. Um, a couple of true spiders. Now, I, I like the way he's packaged these because this might be easier for me to get them out. I'm hoping so, he says. Just get rid of that sellotape first. These are the H. David Bowie. Um, so these are the Orange Huntsman. Uh, they are very, very, very fast um, species of spider. They're a true spider. Um, they don't have a medically significant venom. Uh, I think their venom is probably even less than a, than a new world, to be honest. But this, what they have on their side is speed. The difference between like these true spiders and tarantulas, I would say, is not just their speed, but their their eyesight. These species rely on their eyesight, like the wolf spider. So they have really good eyesight. So they pretty much see everything that's going on. Now, I ordered two uh, because they're slings. And obviously, I'm always a little bit dubious about slings. You can just about see it on the side there. Don't know if you guys can pick that up, but they're still very, very tiny. I mean, to be honest, they would probably be all right in there, but I like to give them a bit of a better environment um, to live in. So, uh, yeah. So as you can see, beautiful little thing. These do grow to about, I'd say about five uh, to sort of, yeah, about. They're not very big, so I think they grow to about sort of three in, in sort of three inches in in the sort of inch size. But I'd say about six to eight centimeters as an as an adult. Um, just try and see if we can see this one in here. This one's really tiny. I'm just about make him out on the side there. So they are really really tiny. But it's cool to have these in my collection. So these were from Jeremy's Wild World. Like I said, I could keep them in there. Um, but there's no um, sort of substrate or in there or anything like that. And obviously taking the lid off every time to feed them, they might scoot away. Um, but yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a couple of little, um, little jars for them. 
and then we'll we'll see where we go from there so let's do that now then shall we right anyway so these are the little tubs i've got for the little um spiderlings um i bought these from amazon they were dirt cheap i think i've got three of them for about um three or three pounds or so and all i've done to them is that i've drilled holes in the in the lids i've drilled um a line of holes along here and a line of holes along here on both of them so they've got some ventilation so what we're going to do is set these up should be quite simple just taking the lid off this little container boys don't worry about me don't need a lot of substrate in here because as i said it's uh these are only going to be little slings in here there we go it's probably quite enough bit of substrate put some in this one as well as always messy joffy old messy noodle legs there we go bit of substrate in there don't need too much guys see that's enough as i said these are going to be um i'll take a little bit out of there just because it's covering up some of the air holes see i want it to be air hold okay so i'm going to just tip a bit out this one guys don't need so much there we go so we've got a bit of substrate in there um got a little bit of cork bark to put in there for them so we're going to stick a little cork bark in there so i say these are boreal so we'll just pop some cork bark in I might pop two bits in that one um got these tiny 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 little water bowls I'm going to put a little water bowls in and bought these again from Amazon these were dirt cheap they were about uh I think about three 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 or four pounds for like a hundred of these which is great if you've got loads of slings but I don't have loads um now I've got some little bits of a plant which I might stick in I'll just have a little look to see if it's, it might be a little bit overcrowded so what I can do is just take off a part of it just give that in there so a little bit of greenery I'll pop one on this side as well just gives a little bit of colour guys oh oh I don't want that like that got my camera man with me today Mr Lemon Lord yeah yeah that's okay I'm not happy with that I think I need to sort of uh just let me have a little think see if there's a straighter one I think this one might be better I think this that one's a bit sort of bent over and sort of like uh not standing up the way I wanted it to there we go that's a bit better isn't it so I'm also going to stick in there I've got some uh, sphagnum moss obviously these do like a sort of um more bit of a moisture area so I'm going to stick some sphagnum moss in there if I can I'll try and stick some down the back here and overcrowd it too much guys because if you overcrowd it too much you're not going to see your spider Oh yeah, you know, and you, you want to see a spider, don't you? Yeah, but also though, the, these spiders need this. Yeah, I'm not sure about the cork bark. Yeah, it should be all right. Anyway, I'm going to put some sphagnum moss in this one. Oh, that's a bit too big. Excuse me, boys, while I break up all this bit of sphagnum moss. Again. I'm going to shove this down here. One word of warning with sphagnum moss. Don't let it get in your water bowl. If it goes in your water bowl, it just sucks up all your water. <laughs> and that's pretty much all it does. Because in, this is how this moss sort of survives. <laughs> so yeah, don't don't try and make sure it doesn't come into contact with your water bowl. But it is a good idea to put it around your water bowl 
in especially your big enclosures because you uh when you if you overflow your water bowl it will soak up and it's good for your moss so there we go so there we go as you can see simple little setup got a water bowl got a nice bit of plant to hide around there's lots of spagler moss there and it, as it's an arboreal it's got a nice bit of cork bark this is perfect for a sling both pretty much similar the cork bark's not very high in this one sadly but i'm sure it won't mind it will, hopefully it will hide down here anyway which will make it easier for me for when i take the lids off because these are very 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 fast species um so when you do get around to uh these have got nice sort of um screw on lids when you do get around to feeding them the best thing to do is have a little peek to make sure it's not on the lid <laughs> before you lift it off but if you do unscrew it if it is on the lid a little tip make sure your lid is completely loose and just very very slowly but uh, you have it trapped on there so you can then flick in your fruit flies because they'll be eating fruit flies at this size and then again very gently making sure it's still on the lid putting it back on but personally i would might even give it like a little just to encourage it to to, to go down before i open it while i'm feeding them anyway that's the two setups the only thing we've got to do now then guys is put the two little babies in there right then guys so as you can see nice little setups for them they are quite large for these tiny little slings but they will they'll be fine in there because these are a uh, a true spider and they do tend to move about a lot quicker and then these and do require a bit more space in your tarantula because these will be ones that like to hunt around but as you say it's quite a nice little setup for it right so what i'm going to do first guys is pop some water in this bowl and i'm just going to pop some as well in around this onto the sort of substrate let's give it a little bit of a damp area and also some onto the leaves so they can always grab a drink if they're thirsty i'm thinking of just actually put opening the lid carefully tipping it upside down and letting all the contents fall in to be honest because it's a very soft sort of ground but as you can see, I've come prepared, just in case it does try to, to run. What I'm also going to do, guys, is actually chuck a few fruit flies uh, into the uh, into the little enclosure as well. Just because I'm thinking, if they see some little flies in there, that might attract them to sort of like jump in there yeah some of them are going to jump out guys some of these little flies but let's see how we get on so what we need to do guys is try and get to a position where you're going to see something right so here we are now i'm not sure if you are going to see anything guys um just because obviously it, it, it's in here so what i'm going to be doing is pretty much trying to take the lid off gently the spider is on the side here do not want it running up my arm or anything like that so what i'm going to do is very carefully take the lid off tip it and i believe that spider has gone in yeah because it's no longer there so that was quite easy so let's just pop that on there guys, pop the lid on. So the little spider is in there somewhere. What we'll do guys, we will check on it in a few minutes once we get the other one in. But yeah, no one escaped, so it is in there. So let's just move that one out of the way. And I'm going to do the same with this one. So again, let's pop some water in into the little water bowl. These are little um, ink pots for tattooists. And we're going to do the same with the other one. So actually, guys, that spider 
it's still <laughs> in its pot. So let's just move that out, pop that back in there, and we'll try this again, eh? I'll just add a look, and it's still on the side. So all the moss fell out, but the spider didn't. <laughs> so we'll try again. Let's just make that down there. I might get rid of that bit of moss there. Guys, just because I don't want it overcrowded with moss. And like I tried to say to you, try and keep the moss out of your little water pots if you can. Because the moss will soak up that water. Right, so what we're going to try again, guys, now is try again. As the spider, as you can see, it's still hanging on for dear life to the side there. So, again... in there I believe let me put the lid on securely let me have a little look see if the uh, if I can see if the spider yep the spider is in there it's safe and sound it's crawling around on its cork bark um, I don't know if you guys are going to see it but it was just crawling around on that cork bark there. Did you see it there? Yeah. So it's in there. It's got some food. That's what I thought the idea was. I was thinking if it sees the food, it might make a run for it. And uh, yeah. There we go. That's the little one done. So what we do now, we'll do the same with the other one. There's no point trying to paintbrush it out because it's probably just going to go back on itself and run up the paintbrush. So there's absolutely no point in doing that. Now this next one, we've got to try and find it because it was really, really small. But again, I'm going to loosen the lid. Not take the lid off yet, I'm just going to loosen it. Just in case it's sitting on top, which I think it is. I think it's actually sitting on the lid. I'm going to tip all that in there, guys. So the actual sling is sitting on the lid, it's so small. Whoopsie. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> Drop the lid. But I can see the spider. Don't know if you guys can see it. It's so, so tiny. Uh, it's sitting on top of that cork bark. Just there. See it? Yeah. I don't want to waste too much time with the lid off. Like I said, these are super, super fast. <laughs> Winning easy because I dropped the lid. But yeah, the spider's fine. So again, we're going to pop the lid on. Just got to be careful with this one because it's a lot smaller than than the other one. But yeah, there we go. Both rehoused into their to their first ever little enclosures. Cool. Thank you, Jeremy, for these. I'm not sure what we're going to see of these over the next. Uh, few days or months until they've actually grown a little bit because I say they are tiny I did say to, to uh, Jeremy to make when you uh, when you send them could you send us a reasonable size ones <laughs> slings just because of me old man eyesight <laughs> so they if that's the biggest he had they must be tiny at the moment so let's try and have a little look at them shall we without taking the lids off I quite like these little jars though. Um, yeah. I do like these little jars. I think these are a great little size for them to be honest. At the moment. So, unfortunately you're going to get a bit of reflection I think. Unless I can sort of... Uh, I don't know if I've closed that sort of curtain a bit. You might see it a bit better. We can see one there. 
The other one, it's so tiny, uh, unlikely to see it anywhere. But yeah, I need to keep an eye on that tiny, tiny one, just because of the uh, the the air holes. I do not want it crawling out of these air holes. So what I might have to do is put some tape over those and make little pinholes in the tape. But yeah, there we go. It's the H. David Bowie, the um, Orange Huntsman. Right, I'd like to thank a few people before I leave the video. It's not a long one today. Obviously, I'd like to thank Jeremy from Jeremy's Wild World. Go and check his channel out if you get a chance, guys. It's a great little channel. Uh, also, I'd like to thank my uh, um, people that have subscribed to my channel uh, over the last few days. Uh, I've now gone up to over 140, which is something I'd never thought I would uh, I'd be doing. But yeah, I've got over 140 now, which is fantastic. So thanks for my new subscribers. I'd like to give a shout out to a few YouTubers. Um, Mark the Spider Guy, Peter Webster, Unseen Universe, Unusual Pets, Spider Mum 1978, Reptile Innovations, RS Designs, Tea in the Deep Blue Sea, Incredible Inverts and Other Animals. Just trying to see if he's going to grab one of these little flies that are jumping around. Um, he probably won't because uh, he's just been, he's probably in a bit of a nervous wreck because he's been rehoused. Yeah. Channels. Yeah. Eight Legs, Four Wheels. Check the channel out, please, guys. Fantastic channel. Eddie's Bug Babies, Moon Over Miami, Jackie's um, JG Cats, check her channel out. Sadly can't get a really close up view of this spider, sadly. But yeah, beautiful little thing, very little thing, isn't it? Yeah, please check all these channels out, guys. I love them all. They're beautiful people. Wonderful, wonderful people. And please, go and check all their channels out. Loads of different content on all these channels. You know, not all of it is all, all spider-related. A lot of it is going to be other inverts. But, yeah, check all those channels out, guys. Until next time, look after yourselves. Look after one another. And I really hope I see you all soon.